We got another match with a Penny Dreadful Mono Blue Cloud Post deck. This hand's pretty slow. But if I draw a Cloud Post, it gets a little better. So I'm Every time I like have this Locust Land, I'll just like um it, it gives me like a, a more reason to keep. I want to start with this. It's gonna stink if my opponent is also on Cloud Post deck. The reason being that if I draw a boat, <laughs> I draw a Cloud Post, and I want to play the Cloud Post in turn two. That's gonna help if I actually draw a creature. <laughs> I like to draw a creature at this point. I need to block this. Thing. Moderate's a fine choice too. That's not the that's not the right creature. I was I was about to say Moderate's a fine choice to like combat these like slow decks. Obviously, if I knew my opponent was on Moderate, I would not keep this hand. But maybe I should just like know that people are gonna play Moderate. <laughs> I keep slow hands. I just concede, just to not like do it. I draw a three drop. There's a cloud post. Um, probably just dead though. Honestly, I need to draw like exactly like this. Uh, space on wave. It doesn't. That doesn't even like help the game. Let's just see what happens here. Carpenter was so good. <laughs> it's all dudes. All the dudes. Okay, a little late. A little late to the party, Phil, you're familiar. I'm going to need you a little later, though. Alright, note to self to not keep slow hands. But yeah, I'm just going to bring in the, all the bounce spells, uh, some orbs awarding. And hopefully just kind of like gump the board with like... Thinking about spell burst, but it's probably wrong. The Precursor Golems are a liability to things like Searing Spear, but that's the risk I'm willing to take. Or Smash Smithers is the worst one. I just died to that. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay. Oh, this is another like slow ish hand. But at least I have like a ramp spell. I think I'm gonna mulligan this hand. It actually just doesn't like do enough, I don't think. This is worse. This hand's actually worse, but I'm gonna keep this. Okay, that might help. No, that's. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna write out the post first. Sometimes you wanna like sandbag them to like the last minute, but to get the most out of it, but I think I just wanna get a life here. Typical mono red starts. Eh, okay. At least next turn I can play a Precursor Golem and hopefully it just doesn't die. Then I can just like hack and counterpart it and make a lot of guys and hopefully they don't die. Oh, they're all gonna die. <laughs> they're all dead here. I already know. They're all dead. Oh, they're not dead. Okay, he had two mana up. I'm not sure why he had two mana, but they're all not dead. No surprise. Wait. 
Okay, there's a chance. Yeah, there it is. Things like this, like, make me way... Way, um... That's the word I want. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> I don't want to deal with stuff like that. Um... So I'm not, like, dead yet. But, um... I have to play the Drowner. The Drowner is the only play I can have. If I can somehow survive, like, if I draw a Glimmer Post next turn, it's really good. Then I can somehow, like, get a Wardings down. And then maybe, like, Tackling Counter with the Drowner. But it's a really slim chance. I have to tap down the Berserker, sadly. I can't, I can't afford to double block. But I'm dead to, like, Attack plus Flames. All the haste dudes. I'm just dead to that. I'm just super dead to that. I used to play this card like 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 in decks like this. In old standards. Yeah, I'm just like dead. <laughs> Alright. I just got run over. That's just plain and simple. The first mono red match was like fine. This match I just completely got run over. But I kept some like not great hands. <laughs>